Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Alright guys, so now that I've shown you how to remove a background using the IMG Creator tool, um, now we're going to talk about how to um, use the AI Designer, okay? So we're going to click on AI Designer, and it's going to give you your two options. What would you like to create? Do you want to edit a photo? That's what we did earlier. Now we're going to create a design. So we're going to click on that tab. And <clears throat> what you're going to do, this is kind of like when you're using any AI software and you put, you type in a prompt text the image to um, create an image of what you would like to see. So we're going to do some, some scenes. So I want to do a bedroom scene. So I'm going to say um, a romantic bedroom scene decorated for Valentine's Day. All right, let's see a romantic bedroom scene decorated for Valentine's Day. And we're gonna leave it at that. And we're gonna use, um, for this one, we're gonna say, this is gonna be design. And we're gonna put it on landscape position. And at this point, we're gonna click generate, okay? And you're gonna get two choices here on the left-hand side and you can pick which design you like, or you can regenerate. So let's take a look here, and it'll come up here shortly. Okay, so it gave us two background scenes. Um, now, the only thing I don't like is that these are really little, so I wish they were larger so that you could get a better feel for them, but we'll go, we'll go with this one. And kind of drag that over and see what it looks like. Okay, not bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on, let's see, let's go with the, um, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a TikTok post. No, that's not what I want. I'm gonna put it on a rectangle rec, a regular rectangle. Um, and once we get our image in there, so we have it set at a 1024 by 1024. We can confirm that. Um, we're going to click on the background image. You wanna make sure that you have resize selected. And we are going to size this. Let's see if I can bring that back over. Okay, we're gonna size this um, according to our shape here. And this may not be the best best size to actually use. Let's see what column looks like. Hmm. This row may not be bad. I just want to make sure that I can get my image to in a shape where it still looks really nice. So I have it on a 1536 by 1024. All right, so now that we have that in there, we can continue to design out the look and feel. So one of the things I like about this is that um, I can continue to add and upload images as I see fit, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to add image and you can actually select, you can um, search for images here inside the IMG creator the software, or you can upload your own. 
Okay, so if you wanted to look for images in the software, you know, you can type in um, mail and see what comes up. You know, it'll give you all these pictures, uh, pictures of men. And if you found one that you really like and you wanted to use that particular image, so let's say we wanted to use this guy here. We have him selected. And of course, this background doesn't match what we have going on. So we could go right to remove background here on the right. And then we could size him down. You know, to where it looks like dude is sitting on the bed. Okay, kind of like that. But that's just to show you what it would look like if you were to um, actually, you know, use one of their images that are that's already in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my own. So I'm going to delete this, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to add, you know, um, an image. So you can make them look like they go with, you know, what you have going on here. But I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how you can upload an image of your own. So we're going to click on upload. And I'm going to find some nice chocolate to add to this background. And I think he's going to work just fine. We're going to click on open. And we're going to use this guy here. Yep. And what we're going to do with him selected, we're going to click remove background. And just that easy, we've inserted nice chocolate for our, you know, Valentine. Okay. Um, you can get even more creative guys. Um, you can continue to add, you know, things here on the bed. We could say, um, let's do cell phone. If I can spell. Okay. Got cell phone here. We're going to click on remove background. And then we're going to downsize this. If you want it to kind of shift it a little bit, you would just uh, grab a hold of this and kind of turn it a little bit. And we could make that smaller. I don't need it super, super big, but we could add that. Let's see, I can't get a little thing to let me make it larger again and then i'm going to shift it let's do it like that And unfortunately, I can't get it super, super flat. Let's see if we got one that's kind of flat that we can use. Da, 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 da. Let's see, this might work. Let's try this, remove background, and then we're gonna size it, oops, size that down. Okay, so we can add that. 
to make it look like it's like sitting on the um, little nightstand here. Okay, got a little cell phone there. We could do um, Valentine balloons. Let's see what comes up. Okay, got it. I'm not sure where that why that came up. I gotta learn how to spell y'all. Okay, so we got some Valentine balloons here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, the roses would be a nice touch. But you can kind of play around with it, guys. Uh, I'm just kind of showing you like some of the possibilities in here. We're going to remove that background. And I'm going to put that there or maybe on that one, on that dresser there. But you can play around with it. Um, if you were wanting to, you could go ahead and you could add some text in there. And we are going to use, let's get a nice little font going on here. And we're going to type in here. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Nah. Will you be my Valentine? And we can come over to the right. We can bold that out. We can change the color. We can increase the sizing. Open this up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Um, his eyes look a little kind of funny to me and they I wish they were straight, going straight, facing straight. But the good thing is you can always, you know, change them out. Now, I created the image of him inside, directly inside of MidJourney um, software. So that's where I got him from. So you can see I played around with some images in here. And what we could do is we could go back and we could continue to design this out. We could add um, another image here. Let's go. Um, what do men have? They normally have pit bulls, don't they? Da, 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 da. And we'll say that, you know, like pit bull is in the picture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I want half a body. I was about to grab him, but it's half a body. Let's take him. And we're going to remove the background. And the dog is looking like 
What is he doing? Okay. all right so you kind of get the ideal of it guys um but it is another tool that you can use if you don't have access to editing software or designing software like photoshop this is an alternative that you can use in place or in lieu of photoshop it's really easy and user-friendly to maneuver as you've seen me do here. It'll continue as you're adding things. It'll continue to add those things as layers here on the right hand side. If there's any, if there's ever anything that you don't want, all you have to do is click on it and delete it from the trash can. Or you could actually just come here and um, delete here from the bottom. Um, but you could continue to play around with your with your um, scene until you get it exactly like you want it, okay? Um, <clears throat> if you're not like me, like he he's good, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it's going to give us our image here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and save as. And we're going to put that there and we're going to save. And I can go directly to my Facebook. <clears throat> and just say, trying something new. And then we're going to put that picture. Okay, post it. Okay, and there it is. Just that simple. You can make these as actual, actually um, greeting cards, guys, um, and design them out however you see fit, whatever works for you. Um, like I said, you can do everything directly inside of the IMG Creator AI. So, um, you know, you could look for your male character or your female character. The good thing about this is that I can continue designing out, like I can delete him out of my image now. I don't have to start all over if I like this background. I can go right back to upload and I can grab another character. We're going to take her and we're going to remove that background. And now we have a female that we can work with. We'll place her about there. Okay, and dog look kind of big, make him a little bit little smaller. Um, but now we could just place in the female, you know, and we can change the wording now to say the only thing missing is you. The there is only one thing missing. And that's you. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm not the best at the wording here, guys. I'm really not. So I'm just kind of playing around with it. I wish I could get this on a true white. Let me see if I can get it a little bit. There we go. I like that better. There is only one thing missing, and that's you. 
All right, and let's see what we're gonna do next. Um, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to come in here and design. All right, so there is only one thing missing in that shoe. So we have that, but you guys can play around with this. Um, I didn't even have to start all over. I just changed out the character. Um, you could even, you know, continue to build out on here um, by, you know, uploading additional images or playing around with um, the background. At this point, all we would need to do is download And now we have our next image here. I'm gonna save it. And I could go right back to my Facebook and paste it right in there. But like I said, you can, I'm just playing around and putting these on my Facebook group since I'm introducing this to my Facebook group members, but you could do, um, like I said, greeting cards with this. Postcards, greeting cards, that type thing. And it will work just fine. So possibilities are endless with this, guys. Um, you know, text to image is basically, if you can think of you're just basically getting a visual of what you would like to see. It's just that simple. That's the way you want to think about it, okay? And um, just remember you have your layers here on the right side. So, you know, you can continue to build out. You can swap out that background. If you didn't like that background, you know, we could come and we can delete that. And we could go and look for another background. So we're going to say, um, <laughs> go back in AI. And I think I took that one. I'm going to click on this one this time. Oh, that one already has a lady in it. So let's regenerate. And all I did was went to AI Creator here on the left-hand side to go back to my backgrounds. <clears throat> I forgot that I had put that little phone thing <laughs> in there. And let's see what background we get this time, just in case we wanted to swap out that background, show you how easy that is. So again, you're not having to start over. Okay, this one is nice. Uh-oh, my eyes are messing with me, hold on. All right, so we're gonna take this. Um, to move this backwards, you have this little up, down, up and down arrow. So we're gonna say backward. And then we're gonna click on everything else and bring it forward. So we're going to bring that out just like that. Now we have a different design. And we got our dog there. We're missing our, we're going to click off. You don't have to go behind there. All you have to do is click off and come back to your layers. And there we can say, Bring that forward. And we'll just take that and move it here. If it's important, we could get rid of it all together. It doesn't have to be in the image. I'm gonna click off of the image. And what do we have? The balloon, which was here. We're gonna bring that forward, okay? And we're gonna leave it just like that. So now, um, we're going to delete the dog. Let's add a cat. Um, add an image. So we're going back over to the right side. We're going to say, um, I'm going to say a fluffy cat because I don't know the name of any cats <laughs> that I can think of. 
<laughs> okay. Let's see. This one looks cute. Let's try that one. We're going to remove the background. And we got half a body over here, which is never good. So we're going to move her here. And then we're going to move the cat over on this side, but we're going to size it down so that you can't really tell that it's half a body. And we'll continue to size it down so the cat doesn't look like it's bigger than the lady. Okay. Kind of like that. I love that balloon. I'm going to put that balloon like here. <clears throat> I liked having that visual of that, that window like that. All right, and then you could go back in with your text. We're gonna bring that back to the front. And we can move that over and kind of size it down a little bit so that it is not covering up our little mirror over there. And there we have it. Okay, so play around with it, guys. Um, like I said, you get 10 free credits um, just by logging in. So I'm going to go back and show you. It's the credit system. So you can see I have 102 free credits and four pro generated credits. Um, each time you, when you log in daily, you get 10 credits. Um, if you invite friends, you get 20 credits. If you share an image, you get eight credits and so on and so forth. So if you wanna pay for the usage of the software, then it's 9.99 for 300 credits a month. Eight, 100 credits is $19 and then unlimited usage is 29. I normally go with unlimited stuff because I don't have I don't want to have to keep up with it. Um, that's just me. But, you know, if you're on a budget, definitely 300 credits. You just just kind of watch how you play around with it. That's pretty much it. Okay, so um, we're going to go back here. And. Oopie do whoopie dee. There we go. Um, it was a separate tab. So we can go back and like I said, we can download this without having to get rid of it. We can download it. And now we have our next scene. And we can save as. And I'm going to post it. Derelict, derelict. I'm going to post it directly to my Facebook. I know y'all thought, what is she saying? Directly. All right. And they're nice, crisp, clean. Okay. You're not seeing a white outline around her body or anything like that, which is really good. And you just kind of play around with it. All right, so that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you how to use this IMG Creator AI software. Again, it will be linked in the description of this video tutorial. If you want to know how to go in and edit an image, then check out my previous tutorial that I created on editing an image. This one was pretty much using the software to design out an image and then adding things into it as you go, okay? Now, one ability that they do have is this AI feel. I haven't really figured that out, um, but it's supposed to be where you could like take out a space here and you can say like in the example, um, a cat. And I, w I didn't have a lot of success with that, but it tells you it's creating the task. 
and you'll get this little taskbar. And it's going to give you two options. And so I, I didn't really get it. I don't see anything here. I don't see a cat here. I don't know if I'm doing that part wrong, but I'll continue to play with it. And once I perfect that, I'll come back and share it with you. But I don't have that AI feel part down. But um, I've shown you how to resize, how to use the um, AI editor and creator, add text, add an image, and also your background. So that feel part, that's the part I'm still working on. So I'm going to cancel this and not going to try that again. All right. All right, guys, that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris is Cricket and Creative Crafters. I want to thank you guys so much for being um, or following me on Facebook. And if you would like to join my group, it will be linked in the description. All you have to do is send a Facebook group request using the Ken Doris is Cricket and Creative Crafters link in the description of this tutorial. And if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you like my method of teaching and this is your first time seeing me, then please like, share, and subscribe. And if it's not your first time seeing me and you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right. All right, guys, that's my storm sticking to it. And you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.